hi everyone and welcome to my channel welcome back if you are a subscriber and watch any of my videos before i'm melanie and i do a lot of videos from weekly vlogs to unboxing videos to hauls speed cleaning trying things out and the cluttering videos concert type videos and experience videos so today's video as the title may suggest is a f update video it is my third year on YouTube I started in April 2016 and now it's around that sort of time in 2019 every year I like to do an update video where I kind of briefly touch on the last year and talk about any plans or goals or what I want to do this year whether it be with the channel or in my personal life so it's dark outside so I'm having to use artificial lighting so I'm more bright from the that is why like I say in every video and that I will probably close slightly more than that one but that tends to happen so now that's out of the way let's talk about the past year so in April last year I had just come back from Devon where I was very unwell I spent probably 80%, 75-80% of my time in my room, laid in bed, I was sleeping in the afternoon for a couple of hours every single day, which I don't normally do because I find when I nap, I wake up feeling more tired, so I tend to avoid naps as much as I can, but I just felt so unwell. I was literally napping in the day, I would go to breakfast in the morning and then I'd, I'd talk to the owner of the hotel or one of the owners and then go back to my room get ready to go out for the day go out and I'd tend to stick around that sort of area where I was staying because I wasn't very well I'd buy lunch and my evening meal for the day I wasn't having proper meals my main meal of the day was breakfast um one evening I did manage to go out I was brave I went out all by myself to a restaurant and had a meal and I was meant to go a second time because my doctor had given me a challenge basically to go out twice by myself and the night I was going to go I wasn't very well and then I was going to go the next night and then the night before I came home but the day before I got came home one of my doctors, not my normal doctor, had basically told me you're so unwell you need to ring an ambulance which sent me into a panic mode because I was 300 miles away from home and I had no clean clothes but a few bits and pieces in case I did end up in hospital but I'd, basic, I'd basically decided to fight against the illness and come home the next day and luckily for me, thanks to a note being given to my doctor, she booked me in in an evening surgery where she works away from where I typically see her. So I was pretty much ill the majority of April, probably because of how unwell I was. When I was away, I struggled with how I was feeling. Mentally, I was going into a really dark place. I was really feeling not myself at all I was just getting more and more down and anxious and I don't know what in particular caused me to feel that way it just happened and I got more and more down for months afterwards around the second week of June I decided to start going out for walks if you watch my vlogs you'll see I probably didn't feel myself every time I was out I don't think I actually did because why would I I was basically going out for walks I Walked a lot more early on, like June, July, August. Like June and July, I went out and walked around 20 times each month, which is a lot for me because at the moment, I'm only leaving the house once or twice a week. So I was going out for walks. It was obviously weather dependent and health dependent. Um, health dependent, if I feel lethargic, I can't go. But if I don't feel lethargic, but I'm ill, I can go. So it was always, always dependent on health, but I would like to go and then I'd go to the shop afterwards and it became part of my routine for a little while. But as the months went on, I got less and less. I was going less and less, but I think a lot of it was to do with how I was feeling. Even though June and July and probably August, I was at my worst. Like September as well, I wasn't great and it did affect me going and the weather changing affected me going. I think the last time I went was once early October and that was kind of it. In June I went to three concerts, I went to see the Rolling Stones, I went to see Billy Joel and I went to see the Hollywood Vampires. I didn't particularly want to go see 
the Rolling Stones, I bought my dad tickets and I expected him to go with someone but all his friends wanted to drink and they didn't want to drive and he wanted to drink and he didn't want to drive. So basically that by default he used me kind of because he knew I would drive and take him but I didn't want to go, I hated being there, it was when I was struggling, really struggling th that week, I was having a really bad week, something had happened, I was just all over the place and I didn't want to go. However, I did want to go and see Billy Joel. I love Billy Joel, I've seen him live before a few times. He's absolutely fantastic. I knew all year the concert was coming up. I didn't buy tickets until two or three days before. I was, they always released really good tickets and then there was a problem on Ticketmaster and then I eventually got them from somewhere else. It was fantastic. I filmed probably 80% of it. There was loads of videos up during June, July, August time with concert footage if you want to check that out. I had sore arms and shoulders and I was exhausted when I woke up the next day and the next day I went to see the Hollywood Vampires and I was like, oh, why did I get tickets? Because I was absolutely exhausted. It was a long hot day at Billy Joel. It was a long hot walk to the stadium. It was hot in the stadium. I didn't feel well, I'd had too much sun. I'd stood with my arm up in the air or arms and the majority of the night filming. I ate, I was tired and I hadn't had enough sleep and I was like, I've got to go out again today. But I'm glad I did because it was the most magical, amazing concert. It was heavier rock than what I would typically go and see, but it was amazing. And the videos were up here as well. There was only two because of how my arms were killing, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna film a lot of it. But I think I filmed the best bits and I was literally buzzing afterwards, like there's no other word to describe it. I felt happy and content for the first time in a very, very long time and I would go and see them again, given the chance. The rest of the time I didn't really do much due to how I was feeling mentally. I struggled more than I let on, on here. I don't really go on into it much on here anymore and I always say in a lot of videos please don't presume because someone's appearing okay and they're getting on with their life that they're okay you don't know what's going on in that person's life you don't know how they're feeling what they're going through if they put an hour footage up from their week it doesn't mean they are doing good it just means they've done a video they've not showing you the bad times they're just showing you some of their week so please don't presume anything about me or anyone else on here because there's a lot of stuff I don't talk about, there's a lot of stuff that's happened, there's a lot of stuff that goes on, there's a lot of stuff, you know, that I don't talk about, I don't put my whole life on here, I don't put on who I'm with, who, what's going on, I just put little bits and pieces on, sometimes I probably say a little bit too more than I should, but, you know, it's hard to filter yourself when you're quite an open person. I think a lot of the reason why I'm able to be open about how I feel more than I've ever done and that I've got past a lot of stuff is because of my doctor. If it wasn't for my doctor, 100% I wouldn't be here today. I go to her sometimes when I'm in a state and she talks to me calmly and we talk things through and then I, f I leave with a clearer picture of you or a different mindset and she's helped me massively and I know it's doctors jobs but there are doctors out there that don't want to know they don't listen they don't give you time but she's given me time and she always gets me to book double appointments because she knows I'm not just going to go in and take three minutes so the only times I have single appointments is if I get an emergency appointment but that's not me going about how I'm feeling or things like that um it's about my physical health so 100% if it wasn't for her and how she's been with me I would, wouldn't be the person I am today because I have changed a lot and I've grown a lot as a person in this past year thanks to her basically. So for this coming year as far as this channel is concerned it's going to basically stay how it is with weekly vlogs. At the start of the year when I started my weekly vlogs I said I want to get 52 up so that basically says to you as a viewer or a follower that I'm only planning on doing weekly vlogs from now on. It doesn't mean next year I'm not going to do bi-weekly again or daily. As far as I can see, because of the pressure it puts on, I pretty much 
don't think I'm ever going to do daily again long term. I might do a week here and there if I ever do it again. But it's such a big commitment and it's like how many days ahead should you film to do this daily thing? Do you film the day before and try and get it up for the next day? Or do you film a week ahead? Like I don't know. So it, I don't imagine it would ever go back to permanent daily. Um, but bi-weekly is always an option. But for this year because of how I feel and the difficult year I had last year, I just feel like weekly, you get a lot of footage from me anyway. I normally put two to four vlogs up on a Thursday anyway. It's not like you're getting a tiny bit, you are getting a large amount. So it's basically like daily. And my Tuesday and Sundays are gonna continue. As I've always said from day one, if I can't get a Sunday or Tuesday video up for weeks at a time, or I get a Tuesday video up and then get nothing up for three weeks, that's fine, I'm not going to push myself, I'm not going to put myself under pressure. I've put myself under pressure with this channel in the past and it's made me very unwell and it's made me unhappy and it's made me feel pressurised and stressed and trying to get stuff up when I'm not in a happy place or I'm severely unwell. It's not good for me to do that. So, you know, as, as much as I would love to do it every Sunday and Tuesday, I just, I'm human I have really bad days, I have bad weeks, if I'm really down I'm not going to think oh god I've got to get a video up tomorrow and force it, if I can get it up I'll get it up but if I can't, I can't. So for this year, basically starting from March, I'm giving myself monthly goal lists. So in March there's a video that's basically what I want to achieve in March and because there's 31 days there's 31 things on the list. I'm trying my hardest to get through it as I film this and I don't know if I'm going to complete it. If you've been watching my vlogs you'll know for quite quite a few weeks, a couple of months I've been severely unwell. I'm always at the doctors, I'm always on a, high, a lot of medication, I've got no energy, I'm tired, I'm weak, I feel horrendous. And it's kind of a little bit disappointing because I was like, I've got a month, I've got this list, it would be amazing if I finished this list. As I'm filming this now, I'm going to definitely get at least half done. There's just things that, looking at it with as much time as I've got left now, there's the exercise ones, like I've put on I'm going to walk daily. I'm going to walk four times for 20 minutes. I'm also going to do four walks of 15 minutes with the dog. I was going to do 10,000 steps on one day and 100 floors on another day. They're the ones that if I don't get anything done, if I miss certain things, it'll be those exercise related ones. Um, there was also like workout four times for 15 minutes. The like, realistically, I can't see those things happening. Um, there was painting ones, I've not started the painting. I went to get the paint yesterday and I just, because of how I was feeling, I didn't go in the shop and then I was planning on going today, but I've been so down. It got to a certain time today and I was like, Do you know what? You've done your makeup, you're doing your hair, you might as well do this video, which I'd planned to do. Write a small to-do list and get stuff done this evening. So I'm going to continue with these monthly to-do lists um, because most months I don't get much done. A lot of it's to do with how I'm feeling. But I feel like if I've got a list written out and I've, I'm like, yes, I'm doing this, this and this, it'll push me more. Whereas if I didn't write a list, I'll just get on with a couple of things and probably do two or three of the things that I might have put on the list. And the amount of items will correspond to the amount of days in the month as well. So I'm trying to push myself, I'm trying to build myself up, I'm trying to get myself motivated and moving as much as I can. And if I manage to get marches done, I'll be the happiest person on the planet. But time is ticking and there's things on it that is time consuming. And with me feeling down a lot, I sit down for hours at a time doing nothing. And you'd think, oh, well, she might do one of her goals, like do the reading or do the word search goal. But when you feel really down and you're sat there, you don't really want to do anything. But from now on, every month there will be a list. And there'll be things where I have to push myself a bit more and things like the walking thing. I want to get back into walking so badly, but I know it won't happen until the weather gets better. So that'll be on a goal like May, June time. I'm probably going to do a video every month with the goals and at the end of the month or the start of the next month tell you what goals I managed to get through and then I'll show you my progress and how I'm getting on and things like that on here. So things I want to work on this year other than these lists, I want to work on my fitness, will hopefully improve with the 
goals of like going out walking and stuff. I'm not super unfit but I would like to get fitter than what I am. So I'd like to work on that. I do have an exercise bike. You know, there's 15 minute workouts on YouTube that I could do. It's just getting the motivation and the drive to do it. But I would like to work on my fitness this year. I'd also like to work on my health. If you watch my videos, you'll know I'm sick all the time. I do have a condition and it causes other things to go wrong in my body because I've got a, a weak immune system because of it. Because it's just, there's something permanently wrong with me. And I just want to at some point get better I mean I can't see it happening anytime soon because I'm not willing to have an operation but hopefully by the end of the year my health will improve massively and that takes over a lot of my life and stops me from doing things as well. I would like to make a couple of friends I'm not after making a lot of friends I got rid of really all of my friends a few years ago when stuff started to happen and I just realised that a lot of people in my life weren't good for me and they were bad for me and they either only wanted to know when they it, they got something from it or when it suited them or they weren't there when I needed them. So I just got rid of everyone from my life who wasn't helping me or weren't there for me the way I were there for them. So it would be nice to make one or two friends, two would be better and just build up some really nice friendships. I would like a part-time job at some point, even if it's just one morning a week or one evening a week or one morning and one evening or a couple of evenings, nothing more than that because I don't think I could handle it and I'm not talking about any time in the next couple of months, these are the goals for the year so you know it might not be till November, December time but by the end of the year I would like something where I work a morning or a week or two mornings a week or two evenings a week, that sort of thing, that would be perfect for me. I would like a new car, I'm bored with my car, I've been bored with my car for a long time. There's a lot of people who are a fan of my car and you know when you've had it a while you're just like I'm over it. So by the end of the year I would like a new car. I would like to continue to blog. I've been doing bi-weekly blogs, blog posts but one of my goals in March was to write 30 blog posts for April. As I'm filming this, I've not even done half of that, but I've still got time to write them. Obviously, I want to have them finished and scheduled and ready before the end of March. And also, on May is where I'll go back to two a week, which I've been doing for all year. And that's what I want to continue with for the rest of the year. I want to grow my ch my page or my community or whatever it is on Instagram, which is linked down below. As I film this now, I'm getting very close to a thousand and my goal on my 31 things to accomplish during March was to get to a thousand. So hopefully I've reached that goal and hopefully it'll continue to grow for the rest of the year. And I'd like to go on holiday at some point, probably to Devon. And that's kind of my little goals for the year. I'm not going to give myself anything major, anything too big, anything too time consuming, anything too stressful or anything that I won't accomplish because I'm sick all the time. And that's it really, um, I'll be back in a year's time with another update video. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to know, please leave them down below. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to click the bell notification button to get an alert every time I upload a video. I'll be back very soon with another video. Thank you for watching and I think and believe this is the shortest update video I've ever done. So if I've missed anything, please feel free to ask below. But other than that, hopefully... In a year's time, there'll be another one.